Well, I don't know how well you can see them, but those two beauties in the center of the screen are something we enjoy so much, but they're also my nemesis. There's two big antelope, and if I give them a chance, they will eat my trees and do damage. But I sure do love watching them, and it's one of the pleasures of living here. Hey, everybody. I don't know about y'all, but buying new appliances of any kind is something I don't like doing. Not just the expense, but anymore, the quality just isn't there. And I've had to buy a lot of big appliances the last couple, well, last couple of years. But I just had a problem with my old, old, inexpensive, well, fairly inexpensive Hamilton Beach food processor that I bought probably 20 years ago. It's been a long, long, long time. So I noticed when I was making my marinara, and I don't know if you can see that, but this is the blade. And see that crack right there? I thought, oh my gosh, if that thing breaks apart while I'm using it, it's not going to be good. So I have been searching and researching for a food processor that is going to last me another 20 years because I don't like buying them. It's a waste of money. And, you know, if you, you pay a fair amount for something, it better last. And what I found out, <laughs> I read the reviews, and I read the good ones, and then I go and read all the bad ones. And I look at how many there are, and then I also go and see how consistent the complaints are, what, what they are saying is bad about it. And oh my gosh, I'd say 95% of the ones that I looked at all said, they're made in China, which they all are. But even the really good brands that used to be such good quality have gone to China, and now there, there's so much breakage being reported, just inferior materials and all kinds of stuff. So after much research, I chose one, and I'm sure hoping that this one's going to last me. But... We'll find out. So I'm going to do an unboxing and show you what I got. And then if I have any problems, I'm going to report back. So here we go. All right. So this came in a great big Amazon box that was just slightly bigger than this box. And uh, now I've opened this cardboard box and inside is the actual box that it's in. So I'm not going to show me trying to get it out of this box, but I'll show you once I have it out. So what I chose after a lot, a lot of research is a Cuisinart, and this is a 14 cup food processor, which is huge. Um, I hope it's not too big, but Sometimes I do really large batches, and I think that this is going to be a time saver. But sometimes 14 cups is just crazy for me, too. It's good if I'm canning or something along those lines, but if I'm just preparing something for my family or even a little bit larger group, 14 cups is way too much. But what I liked on this one is it did have the small work boil work bowl and that holds four and a half cups again I'm not sure what it's going to be like in the quality but that's what we're going to find out but one of the things I did love about this and what I the reviews told me is so many of them were so lightweight and they would just walk around on your counter if you were doing heavy thing you know heavy work in it this one has a die cast base. 
which means it's going to be heavy to move around. But I don't mind that because I won't be doing it all the time. But it will hopefully keep it from walking around on me and hold up better than the plastic bases that most of them are made out of. So those are some of the reasons. Uh, but also this did not have as many bad reviews as far as flimsy bowls and handles and things like that. So we're All right, here we go. And this is high up because it's on my counter, so hopefully I can deal with it. The instruction manual, I know. If I were a man, I probably wouldn't look at this. I know my husband never does. I will look at it. Oh, I hate styrofoam. So here is the work bowl. And, you know, it feels like pretty heavy acrylic, plastic, whatever it is. Um, it seems to be well bolted on to the cup. It doesn't seem to be too flimsy. That we'll, we'll find that out as we use it. It's well packaged, I gotta give it that. It's molded styrofoam, bubble wrap. This is the lid that locks on to the bowl. And has a nice rubber gasket. I know my old one, very inexpensive, had no gasket. But this one is has this rubber gasket. Get dipped. Gasket, I can't speak. So hopefully that's going to keep from making a mess. And this model has two pushers for adding food to it while it's processing. So you have the great big opening and then this fits down in it. But if you're doing a small amount, it has the smaller pusher. So I like that because sometimes that's a lot easier than cutting everything into smaller pieces. That's what this is supposed to be for. There was a spatula in there. Um, I like my really good silicone spatulas, but I could see using this for this purpose. Now this one, I think I'm going to have to move the box down because I don't think I can get it out. And it is heavy. Oh my gosh, it is very heavy. That's not going to walk around. This is the base, and it, like I said, it's die cast. So this thing is heavy. It's heavy metal. Um, I'm sure it has some weak points, such as the push buttons and maybe that little plate there but this is pretty heavy duty so it's how many watts um, I just saw 1300 watt peak power so this should more than do anything that I have need of so let's see what's next 
Yeah, that's not going to walk across the counter. Um, and then this is the blade where you store all your blades. And I didn't buy a whole lot of extra ones, but what it comes with is the spindle for the smaller work bowl, the large S blade. This is for kneading dough, which I'll probably try it. It's not one of the things that sold me on it because if I'm making dough, I'm either making sourdough with no knead or I get out my KitchenAid mixer. And then this is the blade, S blade for the smaller work bowl. So it's nice having a place to store these. And it looks like I believe this is gonna come out, but I have to figure that out, so let me figure it out. Aha! I already had to check out the instruction manual. It's pretty simple, but I didn't see how it opened. So this front pulls out. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get this down here. The front opens up like a drawer. And inside you have your slicing blade. And then you also have your grating shredding blade. I know there's a whole lot more um, optional attachments available. I've never found need of it. Um, my old model, again, very inexpensive model. But who knows, I may decide to do that in the future. So this is kind of nice because I've never had a place to store all the attachments. And it's kind of nice that... They're not just all trying to bundle somewhere. So let's see how this fits. It is a locking bowl. And I know that the lid locks also. So let's see. See how well we do that. Just press down. That's pretty easy. Um, it's easier than that twisting and trying to get it where the interlock is in place and it will activate. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with this and I'm hoping that this holds up the way it's supposed to. Um, on Amazon, this I believe was two hundred. Uh, I think it was two hundred and eleven dollars. I would have liked to get something less expensive, but from what I could see, everything until you get up to the five or six hundred dollar range had the same problems. People were having the same complaints. I don't mind spending a little more if. I think it's going to hold up. In 20 years, I'd be happy. That would be okay with me. Um, but I don't like spending this kind of money if it's not going to be quality and last and do what I purchased it for. So we will be finding that out as the need arises. But I thought I'd share this with you and kind of share why I purchased this one and looking at it and see what I like and what I don't like. So far, I think I'm going to like this, but we'll find out as I use it and if I have any problems. And if I have any problems, I will be sure to let you know. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope that maybe this helps someone else make a decision for against and give me your feedback tell me what 
your experiences have been. And if you have this model, please let me know. Here we are. Please let me know what you think and what you like and what you don't like. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching, and we'll talk again really soon. Bye-bye.